When are you getting engaged? I don't feel like college was a waste of time for me. When are you moving? Where are you moving? So he was like, okay, last year was our freshman year of New York. Then I'm gonna offer to pay because I asked him. I'm thankful that the bar still let me in, you know? Hello everybody, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Danielle, if you're new here. It's been a minute since I've just sat down and chatted with you guys. These are one of my favorite videos to film and I feel like I always film little mini versions of this and just put them in my hour long vlogs, you know, of me just like sitting down talking and I just keep rambling. Back in like 2013, I used to make videos called Ramble with Danielle videos where I just rambled and update you guys on my life and just talked about things on my mind. And now that I have a podcast, I feel like that's kind of where I ramble, but I also ramble in my vlogs too. But every now and then it's needed to sit down and just talk. So I went on my Instagram and I wanted to ask you guys to ask me questions of things you're wondering about my life right now, advice, I don't know, whatever. We're just gonna sit down and chat. I feel like a lot of your questions have to do with things going on in my life right now and my life has just been so crazy. The month of September in general is hectic for me. I feel like for a lot of people too, it's kind of like after Labor Day, you know, things are kind of starting to pick up in all aspects. People aren't traveling as much. And it's also my birthday month and I also live in New York City, so it's New York Fashion Week, which is going on currently as we speak. Um, so there's just a lot and I kind of just wanted to chat. So I'm filming this on Monday and this video is going up on Wednesday. It's also very current, just so you guys know. What is the update on moving? When are you moving? Where are you moving? All of the things. So I'm gonna keep this short straight to the point because I'm honestly just so exhausted from all this and overwhelmed, um, but it's all working out now, kind of. Long story short, I today is September 12th. I was supposed to be moving into my new apartment. My dad's actually here right now in New York City. He came to help me move. He also was coming because he's on his way to another trip up north. So he was like, oh, it'll be great to come stop by. And I was like, wait, I'm moving then. <laughs> Huge to have, have him as help, which is nice. And then just to spend time together as well. He's in the other room right now. I gave him some essential oil and he's taking a nice little nap. Hopefully I'm not being too loud. Yeah, so I'm supposed to be moving today to this apartment in Soho, Tribeca, kind of in the middle. Um, I was really excited about it because I loved the building and I loved the location, everything about it. However, last week, right before I went to Tampa, I went into the unit to take measurements and see it without furniture in it, everything. It wasn't what I was expecting. Once I saw everything without the furniture, there were some major issues with the apartment that I honestly just couldn't move forward with it. I got very, very lucky. The realtor of the building worked with me. It was just something like I just couldn't go forward. Like it just couldn't happen. So I was really worried about it though. I was like, I don't want to lose any money from this. And there was someone else very interested in my unit. So they went ahead and gave it to him. I didn't have to pay a thing. Thank God, like actually so grateful because the market in New York City is so crazy right now. Like it's actually insane that I started looking when I did and I still haven't moved into a place, but it's fine. It's all honestly working out for the best because I grinded and I found another apartment. It is so amazing. It's actually technically a condo. So it's taking a little bit longer to get everything finalized, but I did get approved for it by the owner because basically individuals own each unit. It's so beautiful. In next week's vlog, you will see an empty apartment tour because I'm getting to go see the apartment again. I've already toured it, I've already seen it and I loved it, but my dad's here and I was like, I want him to be able to at least see it. And Sierra Belanger, the interior designer I worked with who helped me design this apartment, is coming into the city to help me take measurements of that. I'm not really, well, I'm, I'm gonna be buying a little bit of furniture because this new unit I'm so excited about, um, I literally grinded so hard. I literally landed back from Tampa and I toured four apartments in one day. And I just didn't even vlog it, you guys, because I was so overwhelmed and I hadn't even explained to you guys what was going on because there was just so much happening. So please forgive me there. Greenwich Village, Nolita, NoHo, West Village, Tribeca, Soho, if I didn't say that. Those are the like things I was putting in Street Easy when I was looking. And so this one came up on Street Easy. I literally, I have never stalked Street Easy so much. You guys, like, I was refreshing. As soon as it was on, I sent an email to the guy on Street Easy. We chatted, we, we worked this out. I went and saw it, I was obsessed. The cool thing about this unit is it's a one bedroom, but then it also has this little home office room it doesn't have a window in it. it's just like a smaller room but it has these beautiful shelves already built into it so i think i'm gonna make it like a huge closet which is my dream and then also i have a vision for it to put a little vanity in there with like a mirror you know with like the big light bulb so i can film makeup videos in there and tiktoks and fashion videos like i think this is gonna be really cool and a great next step for my apartment 
I can't afford a two bedroom apartment in New York City in the locations and everything that I'm wanting in a building at the moment. So I was really excited when this was in my price range, but it also came with this extra little home office. So it's huge, it's a corner unit. There's a beautiful, beautiful kitchen. It's a white kitchen, which I do love my dark kitchen, but um, I, this is a great kitchen. I can't wait for you guys to see it. And then the bedroom's actually a little bit bigger. It's like longer, so that'll be really fun. I, do, I was gonna sell this bed, but I think I'm actually going to keep this bed. So I'm gonna have more room. Updates to come after I go on Wednesday with Sierra and we look at the measurements, but I do love this bed so much. And I don't think I'll need under the bed storage if I have this extra room. Oh, when am I moving? <laughs> yeah, so I was hoping they would, cause the apartment, it's ready, it's open, it's ready for me to go. But with condos, you have to go through more board applications and stuff like that. It's more of a formality rather than, like I'm approved, like it's gonna be mine, but I have to do all these other things. So, um, they don't think I'll be able to move in until end of September, early October. And we're just going to pray that I'm going to get approved before the end of September because I only have this apartment until September 30th. So stress is on, <laughs> but, um, I have a good feeling. I, I've been talking with them. So that gets that out of the way. So now I'm in this apartment for the next few weeks, which works out great. The only problem is I sold my couch cause I thought I was about to be moving and I bought a new couch for my new apartment. And so the warehouse has just been like holding that couch. And so now I'm back to no couch, the couch saga, which is fun and amazing and great and hilarious. Um, so yeah, there's an air mattress there right now for my dad, but I was like, forget it. Have, I got a couch from West Elm. They're gonna deliver it here on Friday. It's gonna be tight in this space. It's gonna be better in my new apartment, but it's gonna work. We're gonna make it work because I have friends coming to visit me this weekend for my birthday. There's just so many moving pieces and honestly, I can't believe I'm moving in September with Fashion Week and my birthday and September's just busy, but not me complaining. This is just me filling you guys on my life because you guys are my best friends and I have to tell you guys everything. So that's that. How do you and Ryan split up paying for things? Just curious as I know New York City is expensive. This is a good question. And I always wonder this about other couples too, because I'm nosy. We don't have like a set, like you pay for this, I pay for that. I feel like typically if we go to dinner or something, like he'll pay, but also we kind of have it. Like if I say, hey, like, do you want to go get breakfast? Then I'm going to offer to pay because I asked him. But if he asked me to do something, he'll pay. Like if we go get bagels, like he'll pay, you know, stuff like that. And then like, let's say we're going to a concert, he'll buy his ticket, I'll buy mine. Plane tickets, he buys his ticket, I buy mine. So we like split things, but like for meals, I don't know. We kind of prefer rather than splitting, like one of us takes it for the other. I'm trying to think like what else we would pay for because we don't live together. Did your piercing hurt? So I just got a third piercing, you guys. I am so excited. I feel so edgy. Adida, Adina's Jewels just rebranded as Adina Eden. And I've been obsessed with like earscapes and just like having a ton of earrings. I think I'm going to stop at my third. But I just love the look, especially since I've been wearing my hair up a lot recently. I think it's just a cool look. So I got my third piercing. Margo Lee went with me. She got like a cartilage piercing situation. It definitely like didn't feel amazing but it's so quick it's like getting like a shot or something margo talked me through the i was like you're gonna have to talk to me like ask me about my day like that's just like what i need um uh, but it was so quick and the yolanda she was amazing she was like inhale exhale it was done do you regret going to college not in the slightest i learned so much in college about myself about others about working in communities about well my major was fashion merchandising and brand management so much of what I learned in school applies to my life right now, which I don't think a lot of people realize. Yes, I never got a traditional job right out of college, but I don't feel like college was a waste of time for me or money. I'm very thankful that I was able to go. I made so many friends there. I learned so much there and also I'm forever a dog. It's like, what would you do if you weren't an influencer? We did this question around like a dinner table the other night. I said I thought I might be in performing arts of some sort, either dancing or like musical theater. I absolutely love. Um, or also just something in fashion PR, fashion marketing, um, something in that realm I think I definitely still would have been in or maybe I would have been on the other side and been like, you know, a brand partnerships manager for a company or something like, you know, I'm on the other side of working with influencers like on campaigns and everything. I could see that for myself as well. Favorite lip balm at the moment? I love this question because I've been obsessed with lip balm. It's like some emotional support lip balm, honestly. 
I have been loving always the Laneige Lip Glowy Balm. Like, I love it. I just love how it looks on my lips. It's super shiny. It feels so good. But I've also randomly been loving the MAC Lip Conditioner. It feels so good. It doesn't, like, look amazing. So if you're looking for that lip glowy, that's the Laneige. But before I do my makeup, I'll put the MAC Lip Conditioner on. And it doesn't get, like, sticky or anything. It just makes your lips super soft and, like, ready to apply lip product. When are you and Ryan moving in together? I get this question every q and I do and I just still answer because I know people are always wondering. Ryan and I spoke recently because we're both like, I'm about to move into a new apartment. He just moved into a new apartment and um, we sat down at dinner the other night. So he was like, okay, last year was our freshman year of New York. We're starting our sophomore year of New York. And he was like, I feel like our junior year of New York. Um, we should live together. I'd love to live with you next year. So and I was like, yeah, I definitely agree I think that would be so fun um, But we also said if for some reason around this time next year It's time to move or look at apartments, you know, I'm definitely the idea of moving again like doesn't sound amazing to me um, Because it's just been a process and a half with this one But also with Ryan's job He's so busy and the only time we really get to see each other on the weekdays is at night So I feel like it would be lovely to live with him. But anyways, we're gonna kind of check in around this time next year You know if he loves his living situation and I do too and we feel like we're able to see each other and function and everything We'll probably stay and then move in our senior year of of New York together Not that we're staying here until senior year and then leaving but that's just how he likes to think of things do people ever make you feel bad for being so busy, like you don't have time for them? Yes, definitely. There are people in my life that have made me feel that way. But also, I am so, so, like, I, as you guys know, I'm a big people pleaser that I make sure that that doesn't happen. You know, like, the people that I really want to be around in my life, like, I make time to see them, and they know that. So it's never really been a huge problem. There's just been people that I'm, like, you know, maybe I used to be super close with, and we just kind of fell up, like, grew apart. I whatever i feel like they'll make comments like i know you're always busy now and i'm like okay well you could reach out to me i've talked about this a ton you know you could reach out to me and try and make a plan it's it's a two-way street you know but i'm also not that bitch it's like i'm so busy like i no. if i want to be around you i'm gonna make time to be around you like my relationships in my life are the most important thing to me what's one habit you've picked up this year that has positively changed your life I've experienced a lot of really bad anxiety and panic attacks for the last few years and um, with that it like made me not want to work out because I was anxious about like everything. I started working out with a trainer in January, changed everything for me, really helped kind of reset my body every time I was anxious, stressed, whatever I went to go work out, I left feeling so much better naturally, you know, you're releasing endorphins, all of the things and that's something that's definitely positively affected my life and also I would say listening to my body i still drink caffeine but not every day basically only drinking caffeine or an energy drink like a celsius or something when i need it i think has really affected me in a positive way like in the morning i'll wake up and i'll drink decaf coffee and then if in a few hours i'm like oh i'm still tired like i need real coffee or real caffeine real energy drink then i'll go for it because then it doesn't make me anxious doesn't make me jittery or anything of that sort so that has something that has truly changed everything for me what are the little things you look forward to every day? <laughs> On that note, I love waking up and making my coffee. Like, I love the process of it. I love telling Alexa to play Jazzy Morning on Spotify as I make my coffee. I love having a leisurely morning, and if that means me waking up earlier to have it, I will do it. I get this question every time. When are you getting engaged? I'm not getting engaged this year. I'm not getting engaged next year. I feel like Ryan and I wouldn't even think about getting engaged until we live together for a little bit you know I personally believe that I would like to live with my boyfriend before we decided to spend the rest of our lives together that's just like my personal view it's just like what I'm the most comfortable with also coming from a family of divorce like naturally I'm like okay like I ideally I feel like everyone feels this way I'd like to be married to one person and one person only not that I have doubts about Ryan but more so like you know I just want to make sure because you learn a lot about someone when you live with them um so yeah, not, not, it's not happening this year, not happening next year. Why are you always wearing your 13 necklace? What does it mean? And also, where is it from? So I wear this necklace. It's the number 13. The number 13 is a very special number in my family. 13 represents a lot of things. My dad is born on September 13th, so he's actually going to be here in New York for his birthday. My brother was born on January 13th, and then 13 was also my brother's soccer number. And I just kind of got this as a representation, representation of 
the guys in my family and they just like my dad and my brother keep me so grounded and are so supportive not that my mom isn't but this number has just always stuck out and i feel like i feel very protected when i wear this and i honestly just love the look like it's just like 13 such a fun number love it and then it's just like a fun little stack oh and i got it at new top jewelry in soho unfortunately they don't have a website so you have to go in store to get it but they have so many amazing pendants you go in and i literally said like build me like a set like a stack of necklaces so we went through we picked out different pendants chains and it was so much fun best piece of post grad advice it's so crazy i'm a little over a year post grad now i think my biggest thing i would say is it's obviously a huge adjustment post grad and to not be so hard on yourself you know it's kind of like starting over again like your freshman year of post grad so you're gonna need to put yourself out there again like it sucks because you you know potentially you know you went to college and you graduated or high school whatever and you graduate with all these amazing friends and then you kind of have to start over because not all of your friends are gonna live where you live potentially or they're all gonna be a little bit busier just kind of understanding adult friendships and adult relationships has been a really big thing for me to learn and like not to take things personally and also like the older i get the more i'm just like you gotta do things for yourself. Like we're out of people pleasing. I really am working on it every day. I'm not perfect at it, um, but just doing things that are the best for you. Um, and also be opening to learning things along the way. Like we're still so young and I feel like, especially with social media now and like where you can go with social media, it's so easy to be like, oh my God, this person's in Forbes 30 under 30, you know, and she's 23, you know, like that's not common. And it's very common to, you know, try something and be like, mm, this isn't for me, you know? So I think just, having grace with yourself and being okay with that is just really important and just realizing that it's your freshman year of postgrad it's freshman year of the rest of your life and just kind of learning and being down to experience new things along the way do you get botox or filler just wondering because your skin looks fire wow thank you i do not and i actually feel like weird because i feel like all of my friends here now have been doing filler or botox not that i'm against it at all like i'll definitely do it one day my mom's never gotten it so i feel like like i've just never done it like brooke is like my mom you know has been doing it for years so like i'm just naturally like i was just exposed to it so i've just never i don't know i've never been exposed to it and i don't like the piercings i don't love needles and all those things um but no i don't have anything i'm not against it i'm just it's not my priority right now but thank you a lot of questions about do you get homesick do you miss florida all the things I am so grateful. I've traveled to Florida like th four times this year already. Um, probably more, honestly. Um, and I'm really grateful that I have the opportunity to do so, the resources to do so. There's times I miss Florida, but honestly, I'm like, I've dreamed of living in New York City my whole entire life that I love it here so much. And that might not be the case for everybody, but I really don't get homesick. I'm able to talk to my family. Sometimes I miss Finley really bad because I can't just like hop on the phone with them and be like, hey, what's new? Um, but other than that, no, I love it here so much. I definitely could see myself moving back down there one day. I miss driving a car really bad um, and just having more space. Like Brooke and I have been talking about that on the podcast, but for now I'm here for a minute. But no, I don't think I'll settle down in New York City. Never say never, who knows where my life could take me, but that's not the plan right now. Favorite activity to de-stress? I would say recently I actually be doing like a 12, 3.30 on the treadmill. Going for a walk for me in New York along the West Side Highway has done wonders. Like playing a good playlist that fits with my mood that day and just walking. It feels so good. Or depending on my energy levels, sitting on my couch, putting on a comfort TV show and just lounging. Or listening to Nora Jones and drinking tea. How have you been able to leave behind your college experience and move on from that time? Feeling sad. Ugh. I am so sorry that you've been feeling sad because I've been there, especially in August. Last August and this August, I felt that way because it feels like I'm supposed to be going back to school. Um, I get really emotional about it because I like literally hated UGA for a portion of my freshman year and I wanted to transfer. And you know, I can't like take away those feelings, but now I'm looking back and I'm like, you know, I, I wish I did my freshman year differently and I can't do that and it formed me to be who I am now, but it just sucks because I left Georgia being obsessed with it and freshman year, I basically like didn't really want to be there. I wasn't just, I just didn't infuse myself as much as I wanted to for a lot of different reasons. I had a boyfriend that didn't live there. I was just like obsessed with YouTube and I, as I should be, but like I was just focusing on everything but like being a freshman in college basically 
And then sophomore year, second semester, I met Ryan, I met all of his guy friends, and I started to really form a friend group and had so much fun. And then the beginning of my junior year was literally so much fun. It was like, so I just had all of my friends. I was about to be a spin instructor. Like everything was just honestly perfect. 2019 was my favorite year I've lived so far, like genuinely. And then 2020 hit March and COVID hit and school was just never the same. My second semester of junior year and then all of my senior year. So I feel like I just missed out on some things, you know, and I, I'm not the only one. A lot of people, you know, could have missed their senior year of high school, you know? So I'm, I'm, you know, I know that I'm not alone in that, but I just, I just feel a little empty. I feel like I didn't fully get everything, but also like everyone has their own experience and I'm so thankful for the experiences that I did get. And I'm so thankful that I made all those friends before COVID happened and everything. And, you know, anyways, I miss it so bad sometimes. And I think the biggest thing is staying in touch with those friends and like talking about old memories, sending Snapchats. And sometimes those will make me sad because I'm like, uh, but the feeling does go away. It gets better and better. And remembering that, you know, my freshman year of college, I wanted to be where I am right now so bad. Um, and even when I was in college, there were times I was like, oh my God, I'm so excited for my next stage in life. Like I love college right now, but I cannot wait. So just knowing that you're in a spot right now that like younger you would have dreamed of. Um, and then also just keeping up with those friends, doing reunion trips when you can, or, you know, reunion FaceTimes, reunion Zooms, I think is a great way to kind of keep that peace. Also, if you have the ability to go visit your campus, I'm going to the Auburn Georgia game next month and a ton of my friends are going and I don't know, at least at my school, it's not weird to go back as an alum because it's such a big school. Everyone's always a dog and that always makes me feel so good. I don't feel washed up at all. Like I'm just like, here I am. I'm an alum and I'm proud to be and I am thankful that the bar still let me in, you know? All right, I think that is enough. I, I think I said everything I wanted to kind of like updated you guys on my life. Um, I guess more updates just because go follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn because you'll see like stories happening in real time because my vlogs go up a week, a week and a half after they happen. This is pretty current though. My dad's here till Thursday, then Thursday, my four of my friends from college and then my friend Caitlin are coming into town for my birthday party I'm having a birthday party Saturday. I'm so excited for you guys to see what the theme is I'm like obsessed because I've literally never seen anyone do this theme and it's very me <laughs> So um, stay tuned go follow me on Instagram for that and then I'm gonna be doing a whole birthday weekend vlog as well Subscribe so you can be here for the moving vlogs. There's a lot of fun content to come I'm just like oh my gosh like after this I have to close the computer or close the camera I'm gonna edit this and I also need to fill out all these forms to make sure I can move by the end of September. <laughs> but um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Like I met so many of you guys today walking around Soho. My dad got to meet people and he was saying hi girls in person. It was so cute. He's like, hey, hi girls. And they're like, oh my God. You guys keep me going and I'm so grateful for you guys. I don't want you ever, ever to not think that. <laughs> and I'll see you guys this Sunday for my next video. It'll be the New York Fashion Week vlog. Bye guys.